Hey, hey, welcome back to MCOC Noxie, the master of mediocre gameplay. This could be a fun video. It's sort of a, a mashup of the end of some good fights from last season, season 41, and then some fights from the beginning of this newest season, season 42. Uh, I've been running a lot of Path 9, which of course means Kingpin. And so here we've got a, a pin versus pin fight. My rank 4 versus this poor chap's unduped rank 3. So I uh, don't know what's really happening there. Woo, woo, got lucky there. So the idea on um, path nine is just to let Kingpin's rage stacks build because of the immunities or, or the uh, cleanses that are going to convert to rage. And so he just ends up hitting like an absolute monster. I mean, Kingpin already hits hard, right? But when you build those rages up, especially if you build up to an overpower, it is just bonkers. And I, I wasn't even able to build up to my overpower. <laughs> That's how fast uh, that fight was over. Um, didn't even build up to overpower. Here we've got uh, my kingpin versus a spot. Um, spot is tricky, right? He's a tricky defender, so I'm going to be mostly parrying and having. I want to keep him from getting very many of his spots. There, again, I got picked off. I still, I, I think I technically kind of understand how you want to play spot, but I don't, I don't have it mastered at all. Uh, and so I know I'm just going to be taking everything in the block. And there we go. I, did, I stopped blocking, I guess. Or I don't think he went unblockable. And there I just, I think I tried to parry and he, he picked me. So it's going really well. And you can tell I'm healing up, even from the chip damage. So he's got his SP2. I would love to not let him use that. And it looks like, there we go. Got him. So this is the first time I'm going back rewatching these. So it's a little hazy. Because like uh, some of these were from last season, so here we got a, an Ultron versus a Domino. I never get to bring my Ultron to war, but I saw this Domino on my path, and I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Let's bring the Metal Monster. Let's let's bring him. And uh, I had Warlock on my team, which adds some sort of synergy. I don't exactly remember. Um, but I remember this fight going really well, which is not something I've been able to say about every domino fight I've ever had in war or in battlegrounds. <laughs> uh, she is just tricky, but if you want to mitigate domino's trickiness, you want to take a tech champion in, right? You want a tech champion that so then you can't go unlucky. She can still go lucky, as you see right there, and she evaded me, but I can't go unlucky, which is so risky. Um, I believe Ultron's abilities cannot, his ability accuracy cannot be reduced, which is another thing that Domino relies on. And there we go, that just went smooth as silk, right? It's only a rank 3 Ultron, too. Here we got a rank 3 Toad versus a rank 4 Warlock. I've almost got my Warlock um, to SIG 200. I just, I love this guy. I know he's boring, I know he's old, but... I think he's probably the champion I feel safest with in any fight. It's it's Warlock and Toad. Uh, Warlock and um, Hood are probably the champions I feel safest with in war. Uh, but I'd say Warlock still leads the way by a pretty good margin. And man, look at that. Just gone. Gone. So Warlock right there was a great answer for Toad on that path. Here we've got a uh, Hulkling Mini. He's... Uh, only a rank 3 Hulkling, and he's unduped, but I think I put it on here because I don't think I... I think this fight goes poorly. Let me see here. Uh, obviously, what you want to do, this is on um, the Safeguard node, where he's never going to be taking any more than 1% damage from any regular attack or special attack. Now, he's almost got me to my SP3, and I want to go SP2, but I needed him to throw his SP2, which then, of course, you know, pushes me red. Um, so I think the idea here is this won't do any more than 1% damage because of safeguard if I'm correct. So, so far I've done like no damage on the guy. Yeah. Uh, but I'm trying to build up my bullets on him and then detonate them. And of course, you know, he gets a couple shots in there. So now he's back to an SP2. How many bullets do I have? Just four, five, six. Yeah, six now. I don't want to go red again, but it looks like I might. Let's see what I do. Yeah, so so I'm just playing the slow game here. I'm, I'm, okay, thankful he's he's being friendly and throwing that SP2. I know at this point, of course, that um, this SP3 is going to do no damage, just 1% damage. And at this point, I'm kind of frustrated. I'm kind of like, I, I'm wondering about the clock. I think I'm okay, but let's see. Yeah, I got 340 left. He's been very uh, willing to throw his specials, which is nice. I'm keeping my bullets on him, so I've got up to, I think, 11 now, yeah, 12, and uh, I think this time I'm determined to throw a special too. 
Yeah, here we go. Oh no, he pushed me right again. I think I meant to throw my special two and instantly, like the fraction of a second right before, I threw my special two, I went red again. So uh, yeah, th that's that's why I saved this clip. I was like, man, I couldn't play this clip much worse. I mean, I'm not taking much damage, which is good, right? And so now he's back to S special two and instantly throws it for me. Like he could have really pressed me right there and I'd have been in trouble. Um, but this guy's at least been friendly. And there he goes again. Am I gonna go red again? I don't remember this fight at all. Oh, there it is, red again, yep. My uh, Mystic Dispersion is just pushing me. And I, now I need him, he's not being so friendly, and I'm watching my bullets wind down, and are they gonna go down? No, I was able to reset them. Whew. Yeah, so, for, for being a full yellow bar, this has been a very hectic fight. <laughs> I've played it so poorly. Uh, so, let's see here, I hate fighting Hulkling. I mean, with Hood, at least he's a good counter, right? So there, now I've got my uh, bullets on him up to 20. And throw a special. Throw your special two more, and he's only a special. Oh, gosh. Oh, the bullets, the bullets. Oh, I was able to reset him. And then I go a special two. Good, build up. Up to 26. Now I'm at 31. I think this would end him. Oh, but that, he goes to special one. I get lucky because I'm in phase there. And this would do it. Yeah, there we go. So it ends up looking great. Um, but a three-minute fight. I take almost no damage, and then I'm going to go fight this uh, this Terax mini here. Once again, just to rank 3. So, I'm going to try to wear down his indestructible, and then let that rock field expire a little bit. I'm not really worried about the rock field. I'm mostly just worried about getting the bullets on him. And keeping them on there for a huge detonation. So, here we go. I'm trying to see if I can back up. Oh, there goes his rock field. He catches me. I hate that. I hate that uh, axe. So this time I, I pull off the, uh, the SP2 like you want to, right? Take a couple misses on me so it builds up my bullets for me. Alright, he throws his SP1. That's so nice. The rock field is active again. I throw my special 2. I'm up to 23. I thought this this could take him right here. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, I missed. Good good, good job, me. Oh, and then he, he picks me up when I'm in phase. Yikes. So I desperately just throw an SP1. I'm like, heck no. This is not... Oh, oh I lost all my bullets. It did a good chunk of damage. But uh, I was not able to detonate. So it would have definitely ended if I was able to, uh, to detonate all those bullets on him. Now I'm just like, golly, are you serious? How, how poorly have I played this? If this was in a, uh, rank 4, this would have been a much scarier fight. Much more dangerous. I have not played this one well, but still Hood is a comfort zone for me. And Terax is, you know, uh, not that bad against Hood. So there we go. Didn't really do what I wanted to do. Won the fight anyways. <laughs> hey, if you've got a Hood, rank him up. He is awesome. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Be good.